this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs and today we are going to be doing a quick wallet stuffing. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am a cash budgeter and stuffer here on YouTube and I am working on paying off debt as well as building up an emergency and sinking funds. But if that is something that interests you and you haven't already, please consider subscribing below. All right, so we're gonna just start by doing this quick cash stuffing. I am gonna review my budget really quick. There is nothing for cash envelopes again. However, I'm hoping with my YouTube check, I can take a small chunk of money and just stuff up those envelopes a little for my sinking funds. So for this check, I just focused on bills and having enough cash to live off of so that I didn't have to pull from my checking account. Let's go ahead and dive in. So on the 15th, my paycheck was $1,911.75, and I did take out $200 for taxes. That left me with $1,711.75. I had $6,206 in rollover, so that left me with a total of $1,773.01 for our budget, so that is what we were working with. And... As always, my 15th paycheck is very heavy on the credit cards. I do have my car payment, and then it's just all mostly credit cards. I do have a student loan payment. I have an IRS payment automatically coming out as I pay off my 2021 taxes, so I did make a payment plan to make that a little easier on myself. I do have some easy pays for some personal care items. I left 30 for gas. We had an internet bill. So after all of that was said and done, that did leave me with $362.86. I decided to take out $220 in cash, and that is what we have here. And I am leaving about a $142.86 in the bank. I am hoping I don't have to pull from that. And I did separate most of my money is gonna go in the food grocery or the gro I put food groceries. <laughs> So if you watched my last video, I'll link it below. But I actually woke up in the middle of the night and I wanted to film the video. I filmed the video at like 4.30 in the morning. I was actually half asleep the whole entire time I did it. I made a lot of mistakes. One of the mistakes I made, um, it's usually groceries, it's food and home stuff. So groceries and anything I need for the house. And I put food groceries, which is actually the same thing twice. I did not catch that last time. And then I just threw in a 20 for miscellaneous. And that is what we are stuffing really quickly. Let's go ahead and get the wallet. I do believe that there is some change. So let's go ahead and count this first and make sure we have our 220. We have 50, 100, 150, 200, and 20. So that is all good there. I did get pretty much all 50s from the ATM and 20s. I got excited because when I went to withdraw the money from the ATM, it actually gave me an option to list the cash amounts I wanted. And that made me pretty happy because I thought, oh, that will be great that I can just come and do my denominations on the ATM machine, but it only offers 20 or 50s. When I start doing more cash stuffing again and I have ones and fives and tens, that won't be an option, but it is working for now. We're just gonna throw this off to the side and I think I just have the tiniest bit of change. I did have a lot more change, but I did go get coffee a couple times and use the change for tips. So I have like a quarter and some pennies left, I guess. And let's stop that from rolling. I do not think there's any money hiding around, but I will look. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So we have 200 for groceries and my goal is basically to split that in half. I have to do the rest of this week and next week. And then the 20 is just going to be put back here for miscellaneous. So really whatever I need. And that is my short and sweet cash stuffing. And <laughs> Um, no cash envelopes, like I said, and we're pretty much done. Okay, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this quick video. This is another super short and sweet video, but, you know, one day we'll get back to our normal groove of, st I really miss the part of, like, having a bunch of money to count and going through my envelopes, but it's okay. We're just in that season for me, my this financial season that I go through every year. We're still weathering it, but we are, things are getting a little better, and we will just keep moving forward, but, yeah, I guess that's it you guys. I really appreciate everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday and I will see you in my next video. Bye!